on October 19th of 2023, it was reported that a Michigan assistant on the staff was stealing signs from other football programs offenses. And the more that he's coming out about this scandal, the more and more this scandal looks worse for Michigan. As at first when they were originally reported, it was just known that Michigan did steal signs from previous opponents in previous seasons. As Yahoo Sports reported that it was believed that Michigan sent out people to go steal signals from teams that could be possible college football playoff opponents. And it's so funny looking back at the last few years because, well, Michigan, how did that turn out for you? And after it came out about the scandal, it was noted that one of the main people behind this scandal was Michigan assistant Connor Stallions. Now, Connor Stallions wasn't officially a Michigan assistant until last year, but for a couple years, he was a voluntary assistant. And according to ESPN, Connor Stallions purchased more than 30 tickets to different Big Ten games involving 11 different programs in just the past three years. It was also reported later on that Stallions also bought tickets to the Ohio State versus Penn State game that just happened in week eight. But the tickets were unused, but the seats faced each team's benches. And since it was two seats purchased, I believe that Stallions and maybe another person that's loyal to the program plan on buying those tickets and using those tickets to go to the game. But the problem is they didn't go to the game because by that time, the scandal was already out and reported. And I want to note that sign stealing in college football is normal, but the only problem is in season and off campus sign stealing or scouting is prohibited within college football. Now, after the first round of reports came out about the scandal, Harbaugh said that, hey, he had no awareness that anyone on his staff was doing such a thing. Stop the cap. <laughs> and this wasn't marked the first time that Michigan football program would be investigated under Jim Harbaugh as before this season started, it was reported that the NCAA was investigating Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan program for buying a recruit a cheeseburger during the recruiting day period. And I got these burgers, man, they some double cheeseburgers. Man. Now, after everything came out, Harbaugh did also say that he would be fully cooperative in this investigation. Now, after all that, it was reported by ESPN that a D3 head coach and Stallions had an agreement that the D3 head coach would go to Michigan opponent sidelines and steal signals and plays. Now that D3 coach who wasn't named did say he went to a Penn State game and a Rutgers game for Michigan last season in 2022. Now, a couple of days later, you would see a video surface on Twitter about Ohio State calling an audible and the Michigan sideline immediately knowing what the Ohio State audible is. So then a couple of days later, like a day before or on Halloween, it comes out that a guy who may or may not have been Connor Stallions was at the Michigan State and Central Michigan game and he was on the Central Michigan sideline. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? But while he was there, he was wearing sunglasses where if you look on the left lens, it had a blue light on the sunglasses. And the biggest problem is that the game was, well, it was at nighttime. Now, in a press conference later on, after this was discovered, Jim McElwain, Central Michigan head coach, spoke out and said that he was unaware of who the guy was standing on the sideline wearing sunglasses. And since then, you've had polls by the athletics saying that 94% of head coaches think Michigan crossed the line. And even if Jim Harbaugh didn't know anything about the sign stealing that was going on, he can still face punishment as an NCAA bylaw 11.1, it states that a head coach shall be held responsible for their actions and the actions of all institutional staff members. Now, I have no clue what type of punishment could be handed out to Harbaugh in Michigan. More likely, it would be something like a two year probation to where they can't play in bowl games. And if it's something like that, it will probably be followed by the taking of scholarships so they can offer less recruits. And the cherry on top of all of this is that, well, Harbaugh got an extension pulled away from him because of these allegations. But then not too long after that, it was reported that that rumor about his contract being pulled from him, it was false and that him and Michigan are working on a new contract, which will kind of be a big middle finger to the NCAA. But there you guys have it. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. 
let me know what else you want me to talk about and keep an eye out for more future videos soon.